Hello and welcome to our weekly version of It Just Fits. And I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Ginger Benedict and I'm an Executive Senior Sales Director with Mary Kay. It is my honor and my privilege and my pleasure to introduce to you someone who has been a part of Mary Kay. Um, she's gonna share a little bit about all of that and has really been a difference maker. And so Natalia Hurst lives here in the Dallas area, and I'm excited to call her my friend, my sister, one of my offspring sales directors, and I'm excited for you to get to know her. So we're going to start, Natalia, a little bit. So good morning to you. Good morning, Ginger, and good morning, everyone. So tell us a little bit, for those people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about um, how Mary Kay found you and how you got here. So I am originally from Ukraine, and I came here 18 years ago on fiancé visa. My wonderful husband brought me here, and um, I'm just so, so grateful to be in, Mar in America, so grateful. So my background was a teacher in Ukraine back there, so with big ambitions, with two master degrees. So I came here, and, you know, when you come into a different country, you have to start everything from zero. It does not matter level of your education, does not no matter level of your influence in that country. You close one door and new doors open to you. That was happened 18 years ago. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> so Natalia, so you came here 18 years ago and then had you ever heard of Mary Kay before or how did, not knowing anyone, like how did you make that connection? So actually, I met this Mary Kay consultant in Ukraine, and she looks so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. And I thought, if I would only have the money to buy one lipstick from Mary Kay, I would be the most happiest girl in the world. Can you imagine that? That was in Ukraine. So when I came here before my wedding, I asked my husband to find for me Mary Kay lady. Wow. So that's how I knew that they look good, they smell good, and they're happy. <laughs> and I wanted to be to look the same way. <laughs> that is exciting. So some of you probably know Mary Kay is an international company. So we're in 36 um, foreign markets. And really, you know, Mary Kay herself, when she started the company 57 years ago, I remember um, her saying in speeches after that, that, oh my gosh, if we got as far as Waxahachie. So those of you that are from Dallas, where she lived, that's like an hour away. And so now here we are in 36 different countries. And it, it's interesting, Natalia, because what you said is really what women all over the world want and why they love Mary Kay so much. They just want to look and feel beautiful, be appreciated, and have that personal beauty consultant. That's right. So once you, you had your wedding, so how did you, or like, why would you even think of starting a Mary Kay business? Well, I actually didn't. Uh, I, uh, my, uh, well, Elena, which is, she was a Mary Kay consultant. Now she's my wonderful senior director, uh, asked me to hold a party, Mary Kay party. So I invited my friends and I fall in love even more with Mary Kay. It felt so good. I thought that I will not wash my face for three days. Now, one example, don't, don't hear that. You have to wash your face, but it was so good. And you know what? Everybody fell in love and everybody wanted to buy from her something. So it was like, how much money did you make? And she said, well, around $300 profit. I'm like, what? As a teacher. I needed to work so many stressful hours. Now, don't take me wrong. This is very honorable position to be a teacher, but it doesn't pay too much money, right, Ginger? Right. Absolutely. And Ginger knows that because she was a professor in university. So it doesn't give you a lifestyle like Mary Kay does, right? So um, that was happened that, you know, I, I, I saw what... They had what I didn't have. Mary Kay girls, they had what I didn't have. They had a lifestyle. They have uh, time. They have fun. They had beautiful 
skin and smell and look good. And at that time, I had three years old son. And uh, you asked me, Ginger, where America found me. So at that time, I had three years old boy, my angel Anthony. <laughs> I call him angel. And uh, I was very busy. I started to teach private lessons, piano lessons. And with three years old, my life was so busy. There was so cool. There was, I thought that I didn't have a space in my schedule for anything else. But um, actually, I'm going back. I just see that I did not have right priorities at that time, that I could fit uh, more, more quality time with my son and still fit something else uh, in my, I just did not have right time management is at time so so it's interesting because now fast forward so Natalia has four kids all together a set of twins which she delivered right before you earned your car before you became a director before she became a director <laughs> in the delivery room so it was an awesome experience and a, and a great husband and really just you know, a great life here. So it has been a pleasure to watch this evolve over the last um, 16 years. So sweet 16 to um, be a part of Mary Kay. Yes, yes. And you know, we're looking back that, uh, that, you know, when I started Mary Kay, I did not have friends and I did not have relatives in America. You know, when you come in, it's everything new. So with no friends and no relatives, one person that made influence in my life, like loud voice, that was my mother-in-law. And she said, bad idea. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. And father-in-law, don't put any money into Mary Kay. That was actually reaction only those people that I knew. So it didn't make any sense at that time for me to start Mary Kay business. Well, however... You know, we can look at our circumstances as, as what it is and live with that, or we can change our circumstances and use the circumstances as a stepping stone to success. See, I was not confident. It doesn't matter how many degrees do you have. It really doesn't matter. It, education does not give you confidence. As a matter of fact, as my husband, what my confidence level was before Mary Kay, and he said, by the way, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> it was it, on scale from one to 10, around two to three. That's what he said to me. Can you imagine that? And I asked him, how about now? He said, well, between eight and nine. So that growth, her personal growth really happens through Mary Kay and because of uh, Mary Kay uh, business, it, it would not happen other way. Uh, I do understand that confidence does not come from because I want. It does not come, unfortunately, from the level of education. It does come from the willingness to push forward, to move that, uh, use that knowledge in the practice and also to get out from comfortable zone. So... When I joined, that was the reason why I knew that I cannot raise my confident child if I'm not confident. So I needed to become a confident to be, to raise confident children. Does it make sense, Ginger? Totally makes sense. And, you know, we think about this is an at-home business and just seeing, you know, your husband come in, y'all, we do this out of our home so that we can keep our arms around our kids and our family and let them see exactly what it means to have it all. Right, right. And so, go ahead, Natalia. And you know, uh, uh, if, if, if I look, look back, I was not sale type at all. I was not. So um, what I found is that as more I serve, Mm -hmm. As more I gain, as a teacher, I never did not hear did not hear word no. In 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 Mary Kay, you have to learn to move forward 
uh, and grow, it does not, it, it really does not matter sales type or not sales type. Sales size people are considered to those who are selling in the, staying in the mall and you want to talk to, to them or you don't want to see them. They stay in front of you. That's a sales type. If you will be sales type in Mary Kay, you fire yourself. <laughs> so that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for people who are willing to serve people who love other people and who are willing to learn their bounce back abilities, to love people no matter what, because we don't really know their life. And my English wasn't good at all, you know. I remember when I opened that flip chart and I would close it because I was scared and I would cry. And I opened it like again and I would cry again. So I wrote my husband and he said, okay, help me. And he would try to explain me word after word. And I would write in my Ukrainian language how to pronounce it. But I didn't use this as an excuse not to become successful. I use this as a stepping stone to learn. That's totally. So Natalia, we're, you know, we, we fast forward and, you know, now it's like years later. So if people are thinking, I don't know, I don't know if I should do Mary Kay or not. Like, I don't know if I would be successful. I don't know all of those things that people say. Like, what advice would you give someone who is considering starting a Mary Kay business? Um, before I give, give advice, I will tell you that I get three the most divine moments in my life. Number one, when I was 21, when I met God. It did not make any sense, but that was a um, big change in my life. It changed, I got, it changed everything in my life when I accepted him. It was a divine moment when I met my husband. He didn't look like my husband, but it was a divine moment, and I knew that that was the right thing to do, and I'm so blessed with this man, amazingly, and it was divine moment when I heard about Mirky opportunity. Again, it did not make any sense for me, but I knew that that's the right thing to do for my future, and I'm so glad that I did. See, Mary Kay is not for chosen few. It's not that lifestyles that we have. It's not cars that we earn every two years, new cars. It's not it, that lifestyles that we gain, executive income, diamonds and so on example for your children amazing circle of influence that's not for chosen few it's for few who choose and we invite you to be the chosen few who choose to change your life so my advice for you to be don't wait until everything just right it will never be perfect there will be always challenges obstacles and less than perfect condition so what? Let's start now with each step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled and more and more self-confident and more successful. You know, as a, you know, I remember I was little one and I thought that I, I don't have any talent to draw because I heard that I'm, I just do not know. No one did not give me pen and say, draw like how you want to draw, like you can draw your life today, how you want to draw. So I thought that I cannot draw. So when I came to America and I started to just play with my son, well, my, my mother, in -law, she came and she said, you are so talented. And I even didn't know about it. So until you try, you will really never know. So if you hear that voice within you, you cannot, then all means, yes, you can. You start to do it, and that voice will be silent. See, and remember, those who win are those who think they can. True. Oh, my gosh, Natalia. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing. And thank you for saying yes to Mary Kay. Thank you, God, for Mary Kay Ash and for you, Ginger Benedict, and for all of you who are part of my lives that I consider as my Mary Kay family. Oh, thank you.